more official figure span. Uh, span? Literally, like, the fourth word I say and I have to get it wrong. Uh, should I restart? No, of course not, because that's not my bag. But let's get on with today's t subject. Let's do some epic rolling action. Uh, Transformers, I believe, hunt for the Decepticons. It could be re uh, Reveal the Shield. No, it's not Reveal the Shield. Uh, reveal the Shield, Revenge the Fallen, and Hunt for the Decepticons all kind of blurred together. But I believe this is Hunt for the Decepticons. Breacher. Now, I'm not sure if it's you're supposed to leave that way. And he, he's supposed to be one of those armoured like personnel carrier things that the police have or army have. You know, um, Die Hard. When they have that big tank thing, they try and smash it into the building and it gets blown up. Quoting the line, and the quarterback is toast. Breacher. And he's got a turret on top. Which can do a full 360. Yay! Yay, turret. Looks a bit lackluster from the back, but it's fine. Goes up and down. Fine. Got a little cockpit there with a macro Autobot symbol on it. What does that mean? Number 28. Okay, fine. 28, Autobots and Yay, fine, great. There is quite a lot of detail in there. Considering these two pieces are separate panels to have this detail going across it. It's quite well done. It, it is a very well done thing. The only drawback is the actual transformation itself, which is a bit of a nightmare. I'm just going to let you know now, it's a bit of a nightmare. But he is a very nice thing. He's got like all the molded in lights and stuff, and big heavy plates with where they've badly cut off the mould, or whatever, fine. Doors with big handles and stuff on them. Uh, I was going to say they jerry cans, but they really shouldn't be, because if they were, they'd blow up. You know, someone shot at them. Or something. But he's a very neat little figure. Little being the operative word. I should really have had these the other way around, but fine. Battle Slash. So he's... Even if you squish Battle Slash up, he's probably a bit bigger than Battle Slash, but he's the old Scout class. And this is the Legends class, which is supposed to be smaller than Scout class. Slightly. So, mm, yeah, you, you know how big that is. <clears throat> Should we transform him? Uh, raise the camera up a bit. Uh, I had to bring it all the way down. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now, how do you do this again? <laughs> I should really transform these figures before I uh, pick up pick up what to do the review. We're going to turn the turret around for strategic purposes later on. And we get hold of this panel here and fold it out. Uh, the easiest way to do it is just to grip it there and fold it out. And I believe we also need to get this whole back section here and fold that down. Okay, and there's a hair, sorry. So now it looks like a mess. Yay! Okay. Do you dislodge this piece so it's loose? Yeah, it's um, on. What's that big white thing in there? V-Gamer! What's that? What's that? What's that big white thing? I told you, they're everywhere. They're coming to get us. Double hinges. Double hinges as far as the eye can see. So yeah, you detach that there. It sort of hooks into itself there. That little bit that sticks out. You just sort of dislodge that. And then we've got to transform this piece, which if you haven't guessed already, is the lower half. So we're going to just sort of hinge it out on the knees which are in there then bring it down at the waist ball joints which are here. So get those down and straight, split, rotate the foot down and around, it's just on a big ball joint in there and then you just fold that panel back around. It doesn't tap in or anything, it just sort of sits there but it's quite stiff and it does stay. So again, bring the foot down, rotate it out, and fold that in. Okay. Eh, right. So I just sort of, these bits get in the way, I just sort of forced my way past it, and now we've got to this. This is the least fun part of the transformation, because it's just, it's, it's just not, is it? Uh, right. So we need to get these side panels here, which are all this, if I remember rightly. Do I remember rightly? Yeah. We need to get these pieces detached, and they peg in here, so they're a bit stiff. And I've just cut my nails before I did this, but yay, there we go. Tiny little bit of nail. 
So you attach that and get it loose. Okay. Fold the hand up, because these bits of the hands, can you see that? Fold that and then rotate that underneath so it's out of the way. All right. Now, again, it pegs in there. See that white piece that pegs in there? You gotta detach this and rotate again with this ball joint. Eh. Sorry, uh, this side piece rotates on that swivel there. I'm rotating at the ball joint. To get that out of the way, move out this hinge here. This piece rotates. Can you see that? Sorry, it's white, isn't it? Sorry. That rotates. Okay. So we'll do that, and we'll do the same on that side. That's popped loose already. Fantastic. Get the hand out of the way, rotate it down. Get this part out, rotate at the ball joint just to get it out of the way for now. Rotate, well, swivel, sorry, swivel that bit out of the way. And we're here. And before you go any further, you've got to rotate this piece around. And it only wants to go one way, which is that way. Dramatic head reveal. <gasps> Fold up this little T shape here. Well, T shape folds up. <laughs> And then we need to use the double hinge into that gap in the turret there. So we'll hinge, 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 hinge. Why isn't that going? Oh, yeah, sorry. You've got to rotate this body piece down. And then hinge, 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 and it all sort of clicks together. It should click into the turret as well, does it? Or does it just sit there? Yeah, it must just sit there. There he's done, what do you think? That's, that's not a mess at all, is it? Rotate the waist, and it, it will tell you when to, it wants to stop. It's sort of like a soft ratchet kind of thing. Fold down the backpack bit and fold down the gun, just to, yeah. Uh, backpack, the sort of bum flap and the gun goes along beside it. And then you just straighten the arms out, turn them to face the, oh, come on. And these will want to drop off. Rotate it to face the right way, and hang on, which way does this go now? So if that goes, tell you what, I'll do that in a minute, because I've forgotten which way around it's supposed to go. Whoops. So we'll rotate that, and it goes like that, which means it goes like that, right, okay. There we go. And... Some of these ball joints are a little tighter than they should be for what they are in some arms, and he just sort of fights you. You end up with... Let me just try and adjust this a little bit. There you go. Ah, oh, you can see. That's great. And then we have Breacher. And he's quite a nicely, you know, designed fella, you know. Bit hollow at the back, but... He's supposed to run at things, that's the whole point of the the vehicle mode and probably the character. I can't remember what the character said. I could TF wiki him, but I don't care. Look again, look at all the detail that's like inside that leg there. Look at all this stuff that didn't need to be there, but they've done it. Uh the arms not so much because they're just a mess. Hasn't got hands per se, he's just got molded fists with like a knuckle dust apart. Can you see that? There you go. But I quite like that. I quite like having a knuckle duster. Yeah, you know, I like the idea he's just going to rub and start punching Decepticons. And the face is actually really nice. He's got these beautiful green eyes buried in there. And it's a really nicely designed face. It's a really weird face. Can you actually see this? He has actually got a mouth in there. If you can find like proper pictures of it, it is really nicely done. And he's a really cool looking figure. I like him, I do. He's just, you know, again, some of these ball joints are a little tight and some are a bit loose and yeah. However, he does have the weapon, which is, if you didn't guess already, the turret, which you can just take off. It's got a C clip on a ball joint. Yeah. And you can clip that onto the knuckle dusters. Now you got a really long extendo fist gun. Pew, pew. I'll, I'll probably, yeah. pew, 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 pew. It's fine, it'll do. It's almost like a some sort of submachine gun for someone who's 
in that kind of job. It kind of works. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna try and bring him down. Size comparison, road trap. So like I say, the difference between the old Scout and uh, the Legends, there's not much in it, but you can tell. And he's, he's just neat, isn't he? Let's be honest, he's just a neat looking fella. He's a lot more comp. This is quite well engineered, but he's a lot more complicated. And he's just kind of fun. Now, the only problem is they kind of half sold this guy with uh, the Hunt for Decepticon Sea Spray, which was a voyage and it was massive, and he was supposed to fit in the back. Like, he carried him to the beach, and then he would break the front lines. Which is a cool duo. I quite like that. Huh. Duo. But I never got the sea spray. I saw him a couple of times, but I was always poor, so I couldn't buy him, and that's a shame. I've seen him since, but he always seems to be missing either the guns or the missiles for the guns, and I might be losing my job soon, so I don't really want to go throw money at stuff, which is a shame. And he's... I don't know. This guy's kind of fun, he's kind of neat, but I would have loved to have had sea spray to team him up with. That'd have been awesome. That sea spray had fold-out flippers in its feet. That's cool. So, can you replicate this pose? Can you try and be as cool as Breacher, even though you're a Decepticon? Let's see if we can copy him. Yeah. <laughs> Your arm's too bent, you're trying too hard. You should be more casual. There you go. So yeah, this is just a quick one, although it seems to have gone 10 minutes or so still, but yeah. Transformers... <laughs> um, Breacher. Anyone seen uh, Army Darkness? You'll, you'll you'll get that joke. But yeah, I'll I'll put whichever line it is. I think it's Hunt for Septicons or whatever. I'll I'll put it in the description. It's all good. So yeah, there he is. Uh, so I'm off. I should be I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye.